Welcome friends, it is Sunday morning, so we're gonna do another one of our post-depression, pre-World War II recipes out of the Elmvale Community Cookbook. This cookbook is from 1939, and we are going to make potato biscuits. Uh, pretty straightforward recipe, very few ingredients, and um, I've never had a biscuit made with potatoes before. So I wanted to, uh, I wanted to give this a try, I'm very curious as to how they taste. I'm um, very curious about the texture. I've had a potato uh, donut and they had a great texture. So I'm kind of hoping this is the same. So into the flour, I put baking powder. Um, and here I have mashed potatoes. So just straight up mashed potatoes. There's no butter or milk or any other flavoring in them, just the potatoes mashed. And to that, I add the flour, and we just mix that all together. It says to sift. Um, yeah, I'm not sifting. I almost forgot the salt. Uh, the salt was supposed to go in with the flour and the dry ingredients, but um, I'm just going to mix that in with the milk. That will get an even distribution all the same. Next in are the fats and the milk. And um, this, I have to imagine that what I've got here so far would be different depending on what kind of potato you used. I used a, a very white, um, some people would call it a waxy potato, some people would call it a wet potato, uh, as opposed to a baking potato or a dry starchy potato. And I imagine that that would bring a different texture to these biscuits, but um, I'd have to try them side by side to figure it out. Next in goes the fat, and that is uh, melted butter and melted lard. Um, and I'm using pure leaf lard, um, not shortening or hydrogenated, or this is a brand of pure leaf lard that you can get here in Canada. It's very good. It's great for pie crusts. And then the milk with the salt. And we mix that together. Now the dough seems a little loose, so I'm going to add just a little bit more flour. Um, maybe two teaspoons worth, just to kind of bring it together a little bit more. And this is one of those things with cooking. Sometimes on the fly you just have to make adjustments. You have to look at it and say, my gut's telling me that that is just not right. It needs a little more flour, and you put it in. And there's nothing wrong. It doesn't mean that the recipe's wrong. Um, it just means that on today, maybe the potato soaked up more water than the potato that Mrs. John Ward was using. And so you need a little bit extra flour. These are things that um, you just figure out on your own. Uh, and as you learn to cook, you'll get better at it. So next up, flour our board. And we turn the dough out onto the board. Now the recipe says to pat dough on a floured board to a half inch thickness. So we just pat that out. Um, you don't need a rolling pin. Uh, your hands will work just fine. And then you cut it out into biscuits. And I have just so happened to have um, this tin can. I don't know what was originally in this tin can, um, but Julie's family lore is that it's her grandmother's can for cutting biscuits. Um, so just gonna use that. Use whatever you have to, uh, to cut the biscuits. So cut it out as many as we can get. And we'll just transfer these to a baking sheet. Roll up the dough and pat it out again and just repeat the process. Last one. So now these get baked in a hot oven, uh, which is anywhere between 400 and 450. So I'm going to go right in the middle, 425, and we'll put them in for 15 minutes. Uh, yes. These smell really good, Glenn. 
potato biscuits from the Elmvale Community Cookbook. Uh, they smell good. They're still warm. That's always fun. Yeah, and they're but they're not very like they're not very big. Like, they don't have a whole lot of loft. There's like four teaspoons of baking powder in them. Really? Yeah. Huh. But they pull apart nicely. Well, yeah, they're not, not nice, flaky. Yeah. They're very f nice. Moist. Mm-hmm. They are nice and moist, aren't they? Mm-hmm. Probably could have cooked a little bit longer. But they have an interesting taste to them, right? I guess that's the potato that's in the them? That's the potato, yeah. Mm -hmm. The potato brings a, a moisture and a flavor. Uh, probably a little bit longer. So a hot oven can be anywhere between 400 and 450. So I'd say go with the 450 based on yeah. this Yeah, so I, I chose 425. Probably a little bit hotter would have been nicer. And it also said to bake it on a greased baking tray. And I imagine a greased baking tray would have been greased with lard or bacon fat. Oh, that would certainly add a different texture, wouldn't it? Um, mm -hmm. Could have even been rendered beef fat or beef tallow. Would have been one of those oils. Um, that would, would have had a nice crisp on Nice it. crisp on the bottom. I feel ripped off. I, I, I the crisp know, I, really good. It's 2019. I thought, you know, we eat a lot of stuff. Let's Nobody just, wants lard on the bottom. Just, yeah. Um, but there's lard in them. There's butter and lard in them. Okay. I really I like, like these. I like these. It's not, um, so it's not your typical American biscuit. No, it's not a, a giant fluffy... Not an, um, an American, yeah. But it's it has all those great flavors, though, and that soft texture. Yeah. And the layering. So it's just a... Really, it's just a small biscuit. It's, it's a little tea biscuit. It's just a, it's it's just a little tea a little biscuit. biscuit. Yeah, and so it's... And, and there's that debate between, is it a biscuit or is it a scone? Is oh. It, and I'm then, not in that debate. And this this isn't either or any of those. This is something unto its own. I really like these. I would suggest that you give them a try if you like biscuits. Doesn't even need butter. I brought butter and I don't even need it. No. So a big shout out to. Hmm. I. Hmm. There we go. A big shout out to. Mrs. John Ward. Mrs. John Ward. Thanks very much. This book is. Um, we'll use those again. This book is getting to the end. Well. It's a little bit tired. <laughs> you you, know, <laughs> you be, be careful very, with it. That's a precious careful. item. Okay. So I'm going to finish my biscuit. Thanks for stopping by. See you again soon.